I heard thunderstorms. It started to rain. I was laying behind the pickup truck, staring at the tarp. I closed my eyes, and I imagined the room I saw in brochures. I turned over, and I hugged my sister. I pretended I was in this room, and I fell asleep. My name is Gabriela Ruiz. I'm a multidisciplinary artist based in Los Angeles. I do sculptures and performance, dealing with my emotions and past traumas. I take furniture that is discarded on the street or donated to me, and I refurbish them and give them a second chance. Growing up, you're living with your parents, and you don't really get to say what's yours or what you want. You just have to be grateful for what you have. Not having stability as a kid growing up made me disassociate from reality. I went in my head and imagined the reality that I wanted. Having the perfect home, the perfect parents, things that I saw other kids have. As I got older, I like realized that I could create these spaces. The concept of home is a major component in my art because I feel like I've had to inhabit a space that wasn't mine. Most of my life, I've never really had my own room. We share a two bedroom with like seven people. Never have privacy. So I had to create my own home, a place where I could escape. Home is warmth. Home is bright. Home is a Full belly. <laughs> the big characteristics in my spaces would be color, and I associate color with feelings and emotions. Different colors like mean different things at certain time. Blue to me can mean one thing now, but can mean something different. Yellow is the most brightest, the most cheerful color. I can relate to it. Home is protection. Home smells like your mom's cooking. Home is safety. Everything that is just me, I just comes out of my work. Everything that I created in my brain, I'm able to bring it out into reality. For my performances, I take something that I'm dealing with and I project all those emotions into the performance and it's sort of a way for me to like get closure. In the beginning, I was really vulnerable to showing my work to other people because I was sort of letting people in to my brain and letting them like see what I'm creating. It was really hard because not even my family like knew what I was doing. Either I had to believe in myself or no one else was gonna believe in myself. I don't really do my work for anybody else but myself, but I do hope that people like can relate with it. <laughs>